Hi, we're here at GSI and we'd like to demonstrate to you ASTM D5596, which is a carbon black dispersion. Uh, what you're going to use for this is a, a microtome apparatus. This is a very old one, but still very rigid and uh, works very well. Please be cautious, there's an extremely sharp knife here. This knife has uh, replacement blades associated with it, and these blades are extremely sharp and quite dangerous uh, if handled improperly. This apparatus uh, incrementally moves the specimen up, and then the knife will cut it. You have to posi uh, position the GM membrane sample in it. I'll show you how one is cut. So here we see uh, cutting the sample with the microtome. It's uh, rather straightforward, but a, uh, a learned skill. Uh, you have to get this down to uh, 8 microns thick so that you can uh, see through it with the microscope. So it's uh, quite thin slices and then adhering them to the glass either with uh, an adhesive or uh, uh, an oil. Uh, to lay them flat. You have to actually cut um, a series of five of them. There are five different specimens that need to be placed and these are each a different specimen. Each one of these specimens will be viewed in two different views and it's an A and a B and you'll use an overlay slide for that on the microscope. So now we'll go into viewing this under 100x magnification. Again, five specimens, two fields of views, so there are ten readings in all. You will then categorize these readings uh, using the ASTM chart. Okay, we've prepared the slide now. You have five different specimens from five different pieces of material, and now you're going to view these under two different uh, fields of view, and this is with the overlay slide. So you place the overlay slide over top of it, and then place it in the stage of the microscope. The microscope needs to, uh, to have a 100x magnification. You do that by having uh, an objective of 10 and then subsequently a reticle of 10. This particular reticle on the left hand side has the calibration in it and what you do is you uh, focus in on the two different fields of view and uh, one and then you categorize it. These categories are described one through five in the ASTM chart. You uh, categorize them by agglomerates. These are typically spherical agglomerates of known area and you use the cat calibrated reticle to judge that. You have uh, ten different uh, views. Uh, you average those tens to the uh, ten views to the nearest tenth and that's how the test is conducted. ASTM D5596 carbon black dispersion and this is for GRI GM13 and 17.